Subject to down rock techniques is going to be harmonics. We're going to be doing natural harmonics. Is it that time already? <laughs> Which is going to be out of this world. We're going to be doing artificial harmonics. And pyrotechnical. Pinched harmonics, and I'll explain what this gizmo is about. So don't go away. Natural harmonic. I've got my old friend Jack Spielberg on the camera because <laughs> this is. I need a really good angle to see this. You need to get. You see, how the curve of your finger. Hopefully, you've got a curve on it. It's not just flat. If you're from this part of the world, uh, from this planet, um, what we're doing is we're going to put our finger. I'm just going to put it on the twelfth fret on the third string. I'm over the fret wire. You need to get directly, you're not pressing it down, you're directly above the fret wire, very, very lightly touching, and you're getting that sound. Okay, that's, that's the third and twelfth. You have, sorry, seventh, say fifth. And you can do a collection of ideas. I'm going to I'll show you how to put lots of things, but you're very lightly touching, that's how you get a natural harmonic. Now another way of getting a, what we call an artificial harmonic, let's just say I'm going to do a D chord, hopefully you know that, in an A shape. The treble, you need to be on the treble pickup here, I'm putting on this treble pickup, this pickup here, on your guitar, to, to really get it to, to sing out. The D is on the fifth fret here, yeah, I'm going to go to the C. Now if I play a D, here on the fifth fret, if I play that 12 frets up, I get the octave. Okay, it's the same chord, hot octave higher. But what you can do is you can do this principle. I'm using artificial harmonics. Now, how do you do this? I'm going to outline exactly 12 frets up. This is the 17th fret, the 19th fret, like that. So, can you see the D, the, the, the A shape chord I'm doing? And this time I'm, I'm playing the 17th, the 19th, and the 19th, the 19th. Let me explain how I'm doing that. Again, just like the principle of, of doing the natural harmonic, but you're very lightly touching the, the actual fret wire, right? But with this time with the right hand, but you use your thumb to pluck it. See that thumb? And I'm mirroring the chord that I'm holding 12 frets away. So I'm holding this chord and I'm doing this 12 frets higher. And that's how you get it. Let's just do one more chord for you. Let's move it back two frets and do the same thing. This would be a C chord. Okay, if I went from the D to the C. And again, I've got to move just like that. 15, 17. That's how you to do it. Now. So you've done a natural harmonic, you do an artificial harmonic like like, like this, um, which is 12 frets higher. You've heard of pinched harmonics. You've heard these things. Very difficult to see what you're doing, but it's the same principles as artificial harmonic. If I was to go another 12 frets higher, I'd be off the guitar. I'm, I've put a little gimmick here. 
so it, that you can see that it would be more frets. I don't know exactly with it, but it, it would be like invisible frets. So that principle we did before was 12 frets higher. I'm going to another 12 frets, 24 frets to find it. So say, say if I'm doing a, a single note here, say on the 17th. So if I did this, I'm, doing, I'm on the 7th fret here, on the 3rd string, and I want to mirror that so I can do single notes with my artificial harmonic. There. Now if I want to do, do that principle here with a... So you hear that's an octave higher again. What I'm doing is now I'm using the plectrum. Right? First of all, I'm going to show you how to do it with my fingernail. Now, because the, the frets would be getting smaller and smaller, just like the same principle as doing that, but I'd be close to each other, I'd be so close, my fingernail is going to be like my finger, and the flesh next door to it is going to be like my thumb that catches it. Sorry, I've got a bit of a fingernail there. Can you sit? Can you go? Yeah? And as it hits off my fingernail, it hits the flesh, and I get it out of the way. I'm going to give some vibrato to help it run. And if I moved, now if I moved from the, the seventh fret, say to the fifth fret, okay, you with me? I would be doing exactly just moving it the same thing. But literally millimeters. So I'm going to the same you get that the, this artificial pick squeal well it's not a pick squeal because I'm using my finger so what if you haven't got no fingernails well instead of using your fingernail your thumb your plectrum is going to be the fingernail okay so to, to get that to happen you've got to bury it deep in you do, I know you hold the plectrum like that but you need to bury it now this is going to be your fingernail and it's going to flick off and hit the flesh part of your thumb Okay, and well, I'm guessing where it is, but if you remember this, can you see? Can you see that? It's very difficult to to get a close up of that, and I need to angle it. Now what? If, well, I've had to angle the guitar to just to show you. I'm literally now buried the the the, the plectrum into my thumb, right? But to make this happen, you've got it on a treble pickup, and you've got plenty of overdrive. But I'm slicing. I'm not flicking it off, don't, flick, don't get it. You slice into the string, so I'm 90 degrees, there, there's part of the string, I'm 90 degrees to it, and, I, and it flicks off, it hits the fleshy, the thumb bit, my, my thumb, like that. If I moved it just a little bit that way, to make this happen you need a lot of treble, I'm on the treble, a lot of distortion. I'm just mirroring that. I'm mirroring that. That's a big jump. That's a big move. Seven to the fifth, but I'm now just move, give me back, please, Jack. I'm now doing it millimeters. Seven to the fifth. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I've gone into a bit more detail and depth about harmonics. It's a tricky subject, especially talking about the pinched harmonics, but hopefully that's uh, took a bit of the mystery out of it. Get rid of my gizmo here, my gimmick. And uh, uh, I'd like to thank Jack O'Neill, Spielberg, Spiel I call him, on the uh, camera today. Appreciate it, one of my young students, a great guitar player. And uh, this is for going out to um, Licks and Kicks and all the other guys who requested harmonics and thank you for all your support. Stick with it, guys. I'm proud of you. Peace amigos. Hi guys, this is how to find my channel. Do a general search of music. When you find Def Sharp 11, that's my username, get on my channel. Uh, get your guitar out, like I'm getting mine out, get your amp on. Okay. And lock and load. Most importantly, get a brew on, get a cuppa. Let's do some serious work. I want to show you how to find my playlists. Go to back to playlists and I've categorised everything now. Acoustic songs, electric songs, techniques, got theory, got uh, all the scales, they're all there for you to just uh, enjoy and just 
get as much out of it as you can. Uh, let me show you what to do. Say, say, let's go to say rock techniques, and now you get the subcategories. So there you go, guitar lesson, rock guitar lick one, rock guitar lick two. Let just hover the hand over, rock three, and you're away. Let's show you another example. Go back to playlist, and I'll show you to say find the say theory, 37 part course there for you. No expense bad. <laughs> one through to 37 two three nicely all nicely and organized now so you can find them and baba bing baba bong full screen and you're there, there. so uh, enjoy by the way i've got another channel called oswin songs if you scroll down and find another icon that's similar to oswin music it says oswin songs and i've got all acoustic electric songs all broken down for you and uh, all popular stuff adding to it all the time so enjoy peace amigos